What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Mostly gentlemen, because there's not a lot of women who play Arcanist 2, but, you know, maybe maybe there will be a, uh, you know, female revolution soon, and a bunch of women will start playing this game. I don't know. We'll have to just wait and see. Uh, like this video and subscribe if you're a woman and you're watching this game. Uh, gotta have a diverse array of fans, and... Of course, I appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving. Uh, lots of fun to make these videos. Um, this is a rematch against DX. I had a game uh, against him where he ran full wilds. It was a great game. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and head over to my channel page and check that out, and I'll put up a video card at some point in this video. Um, probably around the two minute mark, or if I remember at this minute mark here. Um, so if you haven't seen that game one, go ahead and check it out. It's a great it's a great one, you won't regret it. Um, here he does the classic Ferocious Strike knock, right? Um, the T2 mud is very common. I just decide to tower out at this point. Um, and he decides to tower. Uh, he was a bit close, so I would probably have positioned myself further away so that it wasn't that easy to pebble him. And then he gets kind of stuck, right? He doesn't have a great move, and he just has to snare my tower. Um, I assume he doesn't have pebbles in this book, so he can't deal with towers that well. Um, so, yeah, just a slight adjustment I would make is just towering further away. So at this point, um, let's see, what turn is it? Yeah, it's turn 5, and he went first, so he's got all the turn 4 stuff available to him. He chooses to get the Pegasus out, and... I don't remember exactly what book I have, if I'm running the same book with Mud and Mega Boulder and I think Spear. Uh, but this book was a bit risky, it has no tower I believe. Uh, no, 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 I did actually change it up because I remember towering early in this game. Uh, in the first game I believe I ran a no tower book against him, but here I said, you know, no tower is a bit dicey, so I decided to bring one. Um, so I guess that means I don't have Spear anymore in this mix. Um, but I might have Mud and Mega. We'll see. Don't quite remember what I used in the past. So, interestingly, he brings out Imps, and I'm like... What the hell? What? <laughs> what is that? That's kind of weird. So I'm not quite sure what, what his strategy is, or you know what he's trying to go for. Um, so he's bringing out Imps, and I'm like, okay, well I have to do something. You know, I can't just let him sit there and charge him up. So I want to dig to him, put some pressure on, and I kill an imp in the process pretty good. Um, now I've got a... I don't know if I would say minion advantage, but being up a swarm is fantastic. Um, so, you'll notice, yeah, he does um, change up his four spells. Excuse me, he does change up his four spells. He's got imps now. And you'll notice he mushroomed the imp. That's pretty cool. So you can mushroom imps. If you guys didn't know, that's a great strategy to try in your games. Uh, we'll see if it works with full wilds, but you know, at the very least, try it in a mix book. Bring mushrooms and imps and see if you can charge them up real fast. On a map with more hiding spots, it's fantastic, I, I'd imagine. Just hide, get your imps out if they don't have aura, and they let you charge them up once. You're looking good. So he gets the spear out, and I'm like, oh man, I'm looking a bit low. So I decide to respond with the Mega. I end up do having Mega Boulder here. Um, and the goal is to just chip away slowly at his minions and imps and try to control that 71 so it doesn't get out of control and, you know, get to 130 where I could be in some real danger. Um, I'm in a precarious spot here because I'm pretty sure he can mushroom. He can mushroom the 70 imp and get it to 100. So, I don't know exactly what I'm thinking here. Maybe flashing out once more is okay. Um, teleporting seems a bit risky because he can get to me fairly easily. But, yeah, I guess if I block with the swarm, it's a fair, it's a fair play, pretty safe. Yeah, okay, so, so I do decide to teleport, and the reason again is because I know that I flash out, he can trap me with one of the imps, he can mushroom the other 100 imp, 
he can maybe go up, you know, top and hide somewhere and explode that imp, and then I'm at 30 health. It's not looking good. He does a perfect glide, he's been watching my videos, and comes down to me. You notice he barely skimmed skimmed that Pegasus of mine there. It was a really great play. Nice movement there. That's what I would call a micro play too. Like being able to glide down to your opponent and not not fucking it up basically. So again the issue is though for him, um, he's stuck down there now. And that's something that he's calculated in his head. He's said, okay, you know, I'm gonna glide down there and knock him, but I'm gonna be stuck. But in this case he said, you know, it's not so bad because I have a plan. I'm going to gate back up. And it'll be okay. So we'll see though if it's okay. I think at this point I want to ice shield that side. Um, get some chip damage out on that Pegasus, right? Maybe he doesn't have Swarm and I can undead it next. Or uh, kill that Imp if he moves the Pegasus at all. That 6 health Imp. And here though I decide to move the swarm so that he can't get to me easily from the side. And I think I go for a ray because I want to um, chip away at that 70M. But okay, I, I wait a turn. I don't think it's because of cooldowns, but... Let's see, probably because I... Uh, just wanted to be a little bit safer, right? Have that protection shield up. Have some insurance, as I, I guess you could call it. So what's his plan here? Um, he probably can't do anything about that 5 health Pegasus. So, I don't know, maybe he could charge his imps up a bit. Um, he decides to go for a tower because... Um, he might have been worried about the swarm tick into a mega boulder. That, could, that would probably kill him. So, makes probably the only play and the best move in this situation by um, towering. But maybe he could have saved that imp. I guess I'm not going to kill the imp anyway, right? I'm going to go for the pegasus so he doesn't... It doesn't matter where he positions that 6 health imp, because I value an undead pegasus over killing an imp any day, and I now know he doesn't have a swarm, so he's not able to steal that pegasus, which is great, and I decide to go for a drain with the undead pegasus, but the issue is, you see how I positioned it, I positioned it against the border, so with the mud, pegasus is actually trapped. If I move the pegasus to where here, like around this area where my cursor is, then, you know, he muds it and I can probably go around or maybe not fit, but at least aim a Drain Bolt again, right? And hit him. So that's a slight misplay. That's again another micro play with the positioning of a minion that I just kind of messed up ever so slightly. Um, but again, those are things that can turn the tide of a game, right? So at this point, I'm thinking, okay. I'm in a decent position, I kind of just need to waste a move. I don't really feel too comfortable going up there. Um, just because he's got that 70 imp, that's pretty dangerous. So instead I decide to chip away at that imp a bit more. And I think he's only got Arcane Bomb to uh, charge the imp, not arrows. So it's a bit more unreliable than arrows. So that's going to benefit me as well. Uh, he trees me down there just because he's saying, you know, I've got imps, I need to charge him up. And I can't charge him up if he's able to contest top so easily. And I know this, and so I'm maybe thinking of flashing up. Um, but I think I decide to wait it out a little bit and drain here. Uh, just because I can kill that tree and then flashing um, up, I don't have to take two turns to flash. I can only take one turn to flash. Because the tree will be dead. Um, so he does use Arcane Bomb there. Great Arcane Bomb, all the arrows hit, the flash hits, it's awesome. Um, and yeah, well you guys know my plan, I'm gonna flash up to the top. And yeah, I guess while I have a second, um, just wanna let you guys know, as I have in previous videos, about 25% of you are subscribed, so if you stuck around with me for 
uh, this long on this video and you know enjoy my content in general yeah throw a like on the video comment subscribe I'd really appreciate it just to get Arcanist content to more viewers and you know this is a really nostalgic game love making these videos so anyway yeah I would really appreciate it if you guys show your support by liking and subscribing and for now we'll see if I can make a little bit of a comeback here well, yeah, I wouldn't say come back. I mean, I ended up at 65 health on the side, but we've been kind of blowing, going blow for blow in uh, in this match. So we'll see who's able to who's able to emerge victorious. But my goal here is to build enough prots so that when the imp explodes, it doesn't um, deprot me and deflight me. And after that, I'm pretty safe. Um, but again, he uses the mushroom. I think he has four of those. I think that might have been his fourth. He uses the mushroom to get the imp to 110, and I'm like, oh god. Um, but I think with the positioning that I have here, I'm trying to bait him into exploding the imp. Because I know that it won't deflight or reach me. And lucky enough for me, it kills my pegasus and doesn't really do much else. In fact, it doesn't even charge his other imp. Or actually... No, it does, but it doesn't do the full 110. So we could have got it closer and charged it up a bit better. But instead, now I have an 100 protection shield and I can hit him with something hard. At least that's my plan. Um, I was trying to figure out how can I fit how can I fit a spell in there that can do some damage. I said maybe Mega can fit through there if I just throw it. And boom! Get him! Again, kill the Pegasus, you know, do just over 100 damage to him, it looks like. And now he's on his back foot, he's like, he's probably shitting his pants, he's like, oh god. You know, can we draw that? I need to go get a towel, like, clean up. Nah, I'm just playing, but. Um, he's trying to glide down, um, messes it up a little bit, just has to get further away. Uh, but then he decides, you know, I'm not going to go to the side. I'm going to go back over here and... Werewolf, because if he goes to the side, I can easily just go down there and sink him. And so I decide to mud, and I'm just going to swarm tick him down, and then the game's going to pretty much be over. I think he's tilted so hard, he just kills that uh, imp with the self-destruct and then resigns. So I just throw a drain to the wind, and that's how you make an Archmage resign a game. Is it hard? Is it easy? I don't know. You're going to have to play Strength Power DX for yourself to find out, but hey, drop a sub if you uh, if you like seeing an Archmage resign a game, because that was pretty sweet. Um, good feeling. Uh, you know that you've kind of pushed him to a level of tilt that you can't really come back from. But anyway, I know I've been there. You know, that's just how the game is. The real competitive players get pissed off when they, when they lose. Um, so, anyway, it was a quite interesting game. Uh, the imp strategy ended up not quite working for him, but, you know, I'm, I'm thinking it's promising if you're not using full wilds. Because imagine, you know, and maybe not on Grassy, maybe on a different map, right? Something like Elven, where you can just, you know, gate, get the imps out, and then just start charging them with the mushrooms. Um, maybe with, like, full light, you could... You know, grab full light, grab mushrooms, grab imps. Okay, maybe you're a little bit limited in your other two spells. You have to probably bring gate. And, you know, do you need arrows? You might, you probably need an arcane spell if you're going to use the mushrooms. Because then all the mushrooms would have to be used on the imps. And I don't know, it's a little dicey. But, yeah, it seems like a pretty cool strategy. Definitely hasn't been seen before up to this point in Arc 2. So, yeah, really innovative. Um attempt there by DX. Didn't quite work out for him in this game, but yeah, thought it was a great game. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.